the way we make diagnoses is typically by, you know, we, we identify there is concerning symptoms, whether it's psychotic symptoms or mood symptoms. We may not be able to give a specific label like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder um, because that's a diagnosis that, that comes after a number of months to years that the symptoms have been present and there's an actual pattern to them. A lot of times illnesses kind of look differently when they're first starting out as opposed to maybe a year or two later. And a lot of illnesses, when they're first starting to develop, look identical to each other. So the correct way of diagnosing is doing all the investigations that are necessary, following someone through the long haul to make sure we get a clear picture of the pattern of the symptoms, and then eventually making that diagnosis, because then you'll get the right diagnosis. And you don't want to be misdiagnosing someone because that will really change their their um, viewpoint of the world, right? Like if you went to your family doctor with a bump on your hand, the worst thing to, for the family doctor to say is, well, that might be cancer. Because all of a sudden, that's the only word you hear, that's what you're going to go home with, that's what you're going to research, and you're going to see your life foreshortened. Whereas that bump might just be a wart.